What up and welcome to Rama Screen YouTube channel and here's my review of Peacock series Wolf Like Me Season 2. Let's rock this. It goes without saying that even though I will not be spilling spoilers here, this review is mainly for those of you my fellow Wolf Like Me fans who already know what's up. Okay, it has been more than a year since the previous season 1 and this was one of my favorite shows back when it first came out. Genre bending doesn't even begin to describe how bold and how daring this show is. The whole twist with Mary being a werewolf is bloody brilliant. It still cracks me up to this day. And now that I've watched season 2, thanks to Peacock Streaming Service, I'm happy to inform you that Wolf Like Me Season 2 is just as hilarious. Now, I had some concerns initially wondering, well, now that Gary and Mary are now in a lovey-dovey relationship, will this be as exciting as when it was a will-they-won't-they they tension? Because now, Gary already knows Mary's secret, and now they're a couple. So, what else or what more could be told about them? But I forgot that not everybody is in on it quite yet. And that is what writer-director Abe Forsyth manages to capitalize on without making it feel like it's a repeat or a rehash. Oh, and if you want to see more of Werewolf Mary, trust me, you'll get exactly that and so much more in this new season. Created, written, and directed by Abe Forsyth, in the second season of Wolf Like Me, Mary and Gary leap into the next phase of their relationship facing their biggest challenge yet, pregnancy. As much as the two try to have a normal pregnancy, it seems impossible with so many questions looming over them. Will their child be a human or a wolf? Just how long can they keep things secret from the rest of their family? Will what happened in the outback come back to haunt them? And with Mary's former professor Anton suddenly in the picture, can their relationship withstand newly unearthed secrets from Mary's past, starring Isla Fisher, Josh Gad, Ariel Donahue, Edgar Ramirez, Emma Lung, Anthony Taufa, and Honor Latukefu. I have to admit, Season 2 Episode 1 is a bit wobbly, but eventually I piece it together the idea that Abe Forsyth wants to convey. I mean, it's nerve-wracking as it is to anticipate an upcoming baby. On top of that, Fearing that that baby might not be human just adds to the anxiety. And so there's this exploration into what regular parents experience while simultaneously reminding us that Mary and Gary are not your typical parents. The comedy kind of starts out subtle and it eventually comes into form. And when it's funny, it's really really rolling on the floor funny. Keep in mind that this is a horror comedy and the horror elements come in waves but it is at its scariest on episode 2 and all I'll say is that there's a long super terrifying sequence involving werewolf Mary that is masterfully staged by Abe Forsyth and here we also get to witness Josh Gad's acting chops like we've never seen it before. Speaking of whom, Josh and Isla once again deliver in spades. Both of them do panicking like it's nobody's business, racing against the clock to reach the basement before full moon arrives like their hair's on fire. It has become this show's running gag that never gets old. Josh and Isla effortlessly exude that protective parental instinct in such an aggressive way that would put other parents to shame. And as for their characters, Gary and Mary, their relationship is put to the test. Gary is presented with the possibility of what life is like if his wife was not a werewolf, and Mary is presented with the idea of what life is like if she's around somebody who doesn't make her feel embarrassed about her wolf side. It's psychological, it's training, and it allows for excellent shouting matches to take place, perfectly executed by all the actors involved. The only character that is seemingly sidelined in this new season is Emma. In previous season, Emma was ferocious, angry, 
and fiery. But now it's as if she has consumed too many Adderalls. Abe Forsyth unfortunately throws Emma into a generic psychotherapy plot device, which is the most bland move ever. And because of it, Emma has very little to no impact on Gary and Mary's relationship growth. There's a point in the middle of this new season where it seems that Emma and Gary might have another round of that father-daughter firecracking argument again, but that storyline ultimately goes nowhere. So yeah, overall I give Wolf Like Me Season 2 the rating of 4 out of 5. It's an outrageous romantic dramedy with a side of creature fright, intrigue, and suspense. Edgar Ramirez gives a hair-raising guest-supporting performance, and the final episode of Season 2 only begs the question of, man, where can they go from here? And it's a question that only the twisted, wacky mind of Abe Forsyth can answer. So that's it. That's my review of Wolf Like Me Season 2. Smash that like button. Share this video with everyone you know. Turn on that notification bell. Share your thoughts in the comment section below. And as always, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Let's rock this.